nobody's playing her note. That note, exactly. Yeah, nobody's playing that note. So good. Wow. So impressive. <laughs> so exciting. Hi, welcome back to our channel. We are Chase and Malia, and today we are reacting to another CT Norhaliza. This was actually sponsored by mm -hmm. our new friend Farah. I think I said that right. It might be Farah or it might be Farah. I think yeah, is what you know Farah. we were going yeah. back and forth. <laughs> I think it's Farah. And thank you so much for sponsoring this video. For those of you who are new to our channel, we are voice teachers. We love singing and we love to break down what the best singers in the world do so that we can use them for our voice and hopefully you can use it in your singing as well. Now, we might say things that are maybe possibly negative, critical, you know, critical yeah. all that kind of stuff, but it's not about good or bad. Good or right. bad is up to the listener. What we're trying to figure out is the same kind of issues that all singers go through. If you're singing flat, that's something a lot of people struggle with. If you um, really struggle when you're singing height, that's something a lot of people have to deal with. So we're always trying to break things down and uh, things being good or bad is really just not part of the conversation. Yep, we hope that just like we learn from these videos, you guys can take something away and apply it to your own singing if you guys are also interested in becoming a better singer, which I know we are. Yeah. So we hope that you Absolutely. are as well. So excited, let's get started. These productions are so intense. I'm sorry, um, that run, that little like run melisma down seems so difficult. Ooh. Which one? This like, one? She did it a few times, yeah. Um, I just don't, I don't know if it's gonna come again, so I wanted to. <laughs> Yeah. How do you, yeah. Na, na, na. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of notes there. Yeah, and she does it a lot Beautiful. of times. It's just, I thought that was really impressive think, and quite difficult. <laughs> I think she also, something that we say to do all the time mm -hmm. that she's not doing. So this is where you have rules in, in singing and in music, but you also can break the rules. Of course, Especially when, yeah. you're, when you're professional and you, and you kind of are going for a specific sound. So she's going... Ah, instead of ah, it's oh yeah. One is goes all the way out. through, yeah. and, and the and the how she does it is she kind of lifts her air. She kind of pulls back on her right, air. I call does. that you know taking your foot off the gas pedal. For sure. You know, and and oftentimes what I teach is like never put take your foot off the gas pedal. Right. So you know I think this is just a really interesting um, example example yeah. of when somebody is breaking the rules. And, right. you know, we're gonna have all these rules and singing, but, you know, ultimately it's your instrument and how right. you decide to use it is, is up to you. Right. Um, I also wanted to point out, I think this is the lowest I've heard her sing. Yeah. And it seems like she doesn't really care to hang out there. No. But it doesn't seem like it's where her voice naturally sits. Yeah. Um, she's still making a beautiful sound, but I can hear it. It's a little bit more shallow than it, it, the rest of her voice that you hear. And shallow, like resonant. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, she's she's got such a nice full voice, absolutely. but when it when it gets starts reaching that lower part of her of her range, yes. you know, the edges of the bottom of her range, and it's um, low. Yeah, like that's a pretty low sure. section. Um, it, you just hear a lot more breath coming through, and yeah, again, it still sounds fine. Um, it's just I noticed that that seems like it's maybe the lowest we've heard her sing in the examples we've listened to. Yeah, totally. But yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> So I hear you what, you, what you're doing in the low range, but the da 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 It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. How you know? How would you practice that? How would you get good at singing that? I would learn first all of the notes that I'm singing in rhythm slowly so you would take it it's like a triplet right triplet 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 but you would do it really slow so you can make sure you have every note so like 
da 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 whatever the notes are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Da 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 da. I don't know the notes, but yeah. I would take it slowly just so I can make sure I know the scale and the, mm-hmm. the the notes before. And then you just kind of speed it up as you go. That's yeah. what I would do. Yeah, I think that's that's exactly why I would take it. You know, uh, people treat the voice different than other instruments, but that's yeah. like how you would learn something on the piano Absolutely. or something on the guitar. Um, or you know. on any instrument, yeah. Try to go a little faster. You hear how as I get faster, I start getting more sloppy? Yeah. If you practice that really, you know, a, a lot where it's super duper solid, you get a little bit faster until it's still super solid, a little bit faster until it's very super solid. Mm-hmm. And that way you can, your your agility, and this goes for any kind of run if Absolutely. you want to learn how to sing, any kind of uh, riff or run, um, do it slow. Yep. And do it slow really well so that way you can get it faster a little bit and you can do it faster. I would say the well. advantage to this specific one is that it's the same rhythm the whole time which Mm -hmm. is nice that would be it kind of allows you to get momentum you know what i mean and like you can use that to your advantage sometimes there's like riffs and runs that have like a lot of different rhythms but this is just like a and you can really practice that but yeah really just practice cool This is a great example of why we talk about vowel so much. Yeah. That E cuts through everything. It is it is so easy to hear. Mm-hmm. It is just it is just bright and vibrant Absolutely. and all that kind of stuff. And and that's exactly why we talk about vowels all the time. If she yeah. did a E, you know, anything that was a little bit less than More that, it would just cut through. And and yeah. I just, you know, even if you choose to if you choose to do a vowel differently than mm-hmm. that i just want you to see the effect that that one vowel has i'm gonna yeah I'm gonna, she's I'm a few of those yeah and we've talked about it before in her previous performances like i think we called it the celine ah uh, you oh, know yeah, what i mean I like know. celine dion has similar types of vowels where they're just really bright and forward but super efficient is like our main point is that yeah. they they cut through the sound and they just have a really beautiful like resonance to them yeah but yeah there's a a few examples i think in this phrase so the right it's yeah it's even the between the ah and the e love it wow I, I, I was not quite there. I was okay. not thinking of the vowels. I was, I was okay. mostly. Uh, we've commented on this a bunch, but this um, this type of music, in yeah. Malaysian music, I'm so I, I geek out really hard because it seems. You know, there's a lot of tones in there mm. that you really have to know and be grounded in. And if you're ever so a little bit off, it's not going to work. Right. You know what I mean? She's like, da da. She's flirting. Ah. With some like it, tapped, it's like, yeah, yeah. And 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 if you know, there's a difference between something being dissonant 
right. or being out of tune. Totally. That's a really and good point. Yes. Something that's, that is dissonant. If you don't know, the word dissonance is like when a note is really close and it kind of has that clash mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, or like it doesn't fit in the scale. Sure, right? it doesn't. That's yeah. But, I guess you know. I I'm mostly know, talking yeah. about. I'm mostly talking about harmony and no, like totally. how that something fits together yes. musically. And like I know that Western sense Mus- of harmony yeah. and, and stuff like that is different, but um, I think that like if she doesn't know exactly what note she's about to jump to, yep, it's gonna be like really bad if you sing a dissonant note ever so little bit off it gets it's worse it doesn't work anymore right but if you nail it Mm -hmm. and you kind of lean into that dissonance that that feeling of it it kind of fighting it's so awesome and it kind of creates a lot of feelings and emotions for people um but you have to be really locked in or else it doesn't work. Right. And so I'm just really, you know, I'm geeking out because this is some, this is some technical. It is. Like jumping around just, just musically. I, I, I think this is uh, really impressive. It's really interesting yeah. too. And it's obviously interesting because we are not, you know, we are of Western music yeah. style. Pre- Western pre- ears. Yeah. Western yeah. ears predominantly. But I think that what I'm noticing too, along the same lines is there's a lot of like sliding and creeping and like the way that that the melodies move mm-hmm. are also different too yeah. um and it's it's weird to my ear because it feels like wait a minute that's that is out of tune but it's not out of tune right does that make sense sure. like it's not well it's... sliding something into tune exactly and that's, you know that's that's uh that's a that's a, a different technique that we don't use a lot. Well, and I feel like she's just constantly flirting with like yeah. the dissonance, which yeah. is what you were just talking about. And yeah. so, I don't know. It's completely interesting to listen to. I also, um, I want to say something controversial. And this is going to be controversial to Chase, not to other people. We had this conversation the other day about good singers and good artists. And, and like to be a good artist, you don't have to be a good singer and you can make a million dollars and all that stuff, but and you, you can be a great singer and have no artistry and have no artistry. And so really the point that I want to make is I feel like she is a phenomenal vocalist and it is a preference that I have for musicians. Mm-hmm. I, I can appreciate good musicians and like these people that are in Western music that, you know, are at the top of the charts and stuff, but that I don't consider to be great vocalists. I can appreciate it but somebody like her and like Celine Dion and you know people who are going to go down in history as phenomenal vocalists yeah. that's just my jam yeah so that's my yeah. controversial opinion I would prefer you to just sing really good I don't really need yeah. the rest oh, <laughs> you know what I mean the reason why that's controversial to me is because I was I was kind of arguing the other side that like you don't have to be a great, a great singer, singer in order to be a, a really wonderful artist using your voice and being a singer. Yes. You which know, is true. You which don't is true. have to. And like, yeah. and like, but you know, I think that you and I are very much on the same page on preference, on, on, on preference right, right. and like, and like what I kind of lean toward. I, I really love good singing. Good singing. Yeah. And good singing is, is I know also relative to me, what I find good singing, of but course. she's like a classic just a really Absolutely. wonderful voice. Absolutely. You know, somebody who's who just uses their whole instrument oh. and it just sounds good. And lovely to listen and to. And lovely yeah, to listen good to. Good to listen to. Yeah. Well, let's stop talking yeah. and listen to her. <laughs> That Her line is so hard. Gorgeous. And she's just, she's just, uh, floating. And you know, that's all in one breath. Yeah. It is one phrase. She goes from this like beautiful belt to like her head voice yeah. to then like a run down yeah. through her chest voice. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Pretty amazing. That's awesome. I, I, I think that this is a good, um, exercise for any singer to do is to do that flip all oh, the time. Oh, yes. Eee, 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 
it actually helps make that transition a lot easier Definitely. if you just do it, do it, do it. As and a warm goes, up, yeah. Ee- and she yeah, goes all and then she the goes way back all down. Way down, yeah. And uh, yeah, you'd be surprised at the more you f- you transition that. Mm-hmm. If you come down, just like what she did, you can't hear a break all of a sudden. Right. You know, all of a sudden yeah. your break is gone. Right. Um, but it's actually just easier to navigate. Totally. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, and then before da, 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 na, I know it was it's awesome. so oh that's that's exactly what I'm talking about before where it's like that is to me that's hard that's hard it is hard it's yeah. really hard that's and she hard. The, nobody's playing her note that note exactly you know, nobody's playing that note right and she has to just bum, 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 bum. so good wow so impressive <laughs> so exciting sorry no it's okay <laughs> geeking out geeking out nerd alert nerd alert Can we just wa- like I want to talk about how effortless it seems for her to do these really like powerful phrases. Yeah. What do you think? No, totally. I was I was mostly thinking about the previous the differences between the two the the, the two, two keys. Song. Oh yeah. Oh okay, okay. Just okay. the previous key yeah. into, into this key and just like how important a key is. Oh yeah. And like if you're interested in performance and interested in singing really well, you should you should. Try to do some work into finding what keys work really well for your voice. For you, yeah. your voice. Yeah. It's not that one key is better than the other, and you should be able to sing in all keys, but knowing which ones let your voice kind of shine where mm. it normally lives yeah. is a huge deal. And it and is. so that key change, you know, not that she didn't sound amazing in the previous I key. I thought she sounded so good. She in sounded the really previous good. Key. Yeah, she I was like, really wow, good. this is her. But like the choir was singing so... along with her. I think, you know, that was kind of mm-hmm. for everybody to kind of sing right. along for that part. 
But once it's changed the keys, and exactly, she turned it up in a way that's just so where her voice lives right. and where where her voice truly shines. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, if you're a singer and you're home, interested and you, or you're interested in singing, try to, you know, know a couple keys right. that like, okay, this is kind of where I get paid. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, these are, absolutely. These are my keys. These that, are my you money know, notes. These are my yeah. money notes. Exactly. I also think that she is just like, for me, she's such a joy to watch. Oh. Like she sings with the biggest smile on her face. Yeah. And it's just, I don't know, something about her while she's singing seems so natural. Mm -hmm. Like there doesn't seem to be a lot of, not that she is not working hard or no. that she hasn't worked hard, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of effort. It yeah. seems really easy. Effortless. Yeah. Effortless to yeah. her. And well, that's what you want. Like yeah. that's the goal, but yeah. that's our it doesn't goal, mean it's not. Yeah hard for her that she doesn't work hard or she's not thinking constantly yeah about exactly how she's doing it and what she's doing i you just know. i really like watching her sing even yeah. just like it's as a, an act yeah. i thought about that too it's yeah. a very good performance Absolutely. and that's like you know and we talked about too the other day performance is something other than Com singing completely it's yep. a completely different skill yeah and i am a terrible not a terrible but, no, but those i, are I the feel things like that's you a weakness could work on. yes and in, in my um you know yeah uh, abilities or or, right. or you know whatever skills as, yeah. skills as a singer is um is that i'm not a very good mm -hmm. performer and so mm -hmm. somebody who doesn't really sing really well but can is dance or like can get really into with people yeah it's uh you know people enjoy that performance more than they would enjoy mine if i just stood there just stock still sing. singing really pretty. right you know what i mean it's it's um yeah it's it's, it's a whole another, package it's a whole package deal yeah. and she's got it all yeah, she's got it all, that's for sure. Let's go back and listen to those really those nice, uh, effortless notes. Oh, that yes, saying. yes. Okay, one more thing. Mm -hmm. One more thing. I know this is the end, but through that whole big part, that whole part was big, right? right. Whole part is big. She's still getting quiet, yeah, and getting loud again, and getting quiet again, and getting loud again, and that is another level, right, of how to communicate a song to people. You know, if you're a be if you're a great singer, that's wonderful, mm. but knowing. And playing with dynamics. Right. And having that being, you know, you singing loud and soft um, just adds a whole nother layer to any performance. Totally. And 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 it's something that I didn't really take into account for, for a long time. You know, I kind of did it like a little bit naturally. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't until somebody pointed out, you know, it was actually our previous voice teacher pointed mm -hmm. it out about another student about how they just did it so well yeah and that's when i really started to notice that that's what i was appreciating so much about right. certain people's performances so you know take that put it in your pocket apply that exactly that's in your toolbox is is phrasing getting yes. loud getting dynamics, soft. dynamics yeah absolutely yeah i think it's interesting so you know we we react to these singers and they're all obviously like world renowned nation renowned like really huge singers and of course, from an educational perspective, we're trying to find things to break down for you. I feel like there's, she's one of those kind of like shining examples so far of, of she's breaking rules, sure, but she's doing so many things with intention yeah. that it seems, it just, it's hard to not say positive things about her. Yeah. So I hope it doesn't come across as like, Us we just love her and we never say yeah. anything bad about her. I genuinely feel like she's a great vocal example and she's not anybody I'd ever heard of before. So nope. if that tells you anything about like, I mean, that's also global scale. It's We're kind of, Americans are a little bit stuck in our own like, oh, and Western, Western culture, music, yeah. but I Western feel like music, culture, I she think. is obviously a like phenomenal vocalist yeah. and an 
and a powerhouse vocalist. And, um, I think that we can learn from her performances and we have learned so yeah. much from her performances yeah. of what to do right. And that's yeah. my whole point. It's just, yeah. I feel like she does a lot of things well. Yeah. 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 And, and uh, yeah, I hope we've gotten a reputation of being honest. Right. That's, Absolutely. That's ultimately what we're trying to do. I just realized that like we're saying only really awesome things because that's <laughs> all I'm seeing. <laughs> so, well, and I mean, you know, I don't know. There's this, there's this idea that if somebody sings flat, they're not a good singer, but every singer in the world has has, has sung flat. flat. Absolutely. Uh, every single in the world continues to every sing Every in the world sometimes. has forgotten words. Every single in the world has, you know, you missed know, an entrance, missed note, has sung the whatever, wrong note. You know, like, we have all done it. a bad performance. Absolutely. I'm sure CT would tell you yourself. She's Absolutely. had performances that she's, you know, are better than others in her mind. And, I mean, this is also just a comment on, like, the generation that she's from. You know, there was no YouTube back when this performance was recorded. So it was the best of the best because yeah. that's why it was recorded and sold and yeah. distributed. YouTube, because, yeah, exa- you know what I mean? It was re- the best of the best. Yeah, yeah, they probably recorded this, the same concert over a couple nights exactly. and then they picked the best one. Right, and so so you could really curate your performances. And I remember when we were in college, our teachers would be like, be careful what you let out on the internet because it might not be your best. And I think while I appreciated that, that caution, I actually prefer the opposite. I prefer putting out whatever I've got on the on the internet and sharing yeah. because it's like live music. Yeah. When you sing live, you don't have time to care about how that note just went wrong or yeah. whatever you, you just missed. Going. You keep going. And you smile. And you smile and you still <laughs> yeah. kill it. And yeah. so I think that that's something to consider with this too is like she's also from what seems like a different generation where they could curate the performances sure. more. Maybe then the people that react to you that are of our generation where it's like you're going to find those bad notes on the yeah. internet because yeah. we all have it, you know? Well, and I think that's that's real. That's realistic. Totally. You know, this idea that, that great singers never sing wrong notes. It's right. Just, it's just false. It's Actually, not true. we even, we reacted to her singing in her room before bed. Oh, yeah. So see, yeah. go watch that video. If go you guys haven't one. seen it, we, you know, you get to see a bit of a raw performance from her you where, know, where she's just super chilling, cash. Yeah. To, yeah. Apparently she was, her daughter was sleeping in the other exactly. room. Exactly. You know, it's like, but she's, she's a still real has a lovely person. Voice, yeah. She's got a lovely voice, you know, but it's, uh, yeah, this is a wonderful performance. Absolutely. Uh, let's finish it. Actually a flute. I think it is a flute so, too, but it sounds it's a it something. Flute. Okay, okay, okay. So that was wonderful. We uh, we hope we didn't talk too much over <laughs> all that stuff, but we we just you know I don't know when you see a good a really good performance that's just super tight. It's uh, it's kind of a thing to behold. Absolutely. Yeah. And we hope that you guys learned something because I think every time we do these videos, we want to walk away with something new that you can add to your practice in singing and your journey in singing. And if you're just here to appreciate good singers, then join the club awesome. because so are we. Yeah. And we love good singers and yeah. we love good vocalists. And that is what we are here to discuss and talk about. So if you guys happen to be new to our channel and this is your first time watching us, we are so happy that you are here and we would love for you to subscribe because we make videos like this every single a week. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to like it. And if you'd like to sponsor a video yourself, we will leave the link below and you can do just that. We're Chase and Malia. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.